So my name is Amy Gendel. I'm SVP Finance and Planning for BXP. When we were looking for Procore as a software opportunity for us, it was really more from a financial management tool perspective. So we really focused on the budgeting, uh, change events, change management, forecasting. Um, and that's kind of where we started. I think the biggest thing for us is really the transparency and standardization, be able to upload a budget very easily, get started. Um, we're a publicly traded company, so we have this concept of a board approved budget. So we're locking a budget really managing changes against that um, from a um, current budget perspective. We have to track all that, report all that, if there's major budget changes, and then really trying, and we're, this is new for us as well, using the whole kind of approval process to make changes if you're not getting a net zero change in the budget. So we're using workflows to help us really manage the approval process as we, again, if we're gonna be using, for design dollars, for example, and need a couple hundred thousand dollars, we'll use the workflows to basically power through the Procore application to be able to get the right approvals to start the spend. So this really brings just everything really in one application for us, as opposed to going to another location. JD Edwards is our book of record. So all of our financials are reported there, right? right we, we're quarterly reporting. So if it was important for us to not have Procore be what we call in scope for audit purposes. So that application, while it manages and does, has a lot of power for the whole construction process and pre-con to basically deliver the building, all of that data coming in and out of J.D. Edwards. The lens it, through Procore is great, but then we're really relying in all of our reporting is done from our book of record, J.D. Edwards. Forecasting is super important to our cash management, treasury, um, again, as a public company and reporting and really managing because we might borrow in our line, right? So from a whole financial capital perspective. And I think the tools within Procore um, to be able to forecast very easily, again, choosing a number of ways to, whether you're doing it manual, we try not to do that, but picking a schedule or a curve or front-loaded, back-loaded, and I think all that functionality within Procore really helps refine our budgets. And again, as actuals come in, we used to have project managers having to you know, reconcile $1,000 because the actuals came in and the budget, and that was a constant exercise kind of getting to zero. We were able to roll everything up from a portfolio aggregate level. And we're really excited about, um, as we add projects, just the data play in there and really helping us also inform future budgets or how are we doing things. So I would say then the value of the data in Procore for us would be really helping us inform our budgets for the future, how we may develop um, you know, a CBD building in New York versus San Francisco or even within each region. To be able to have you know, six regions you know, multiple projects at a time, all in one place for, again, transparency, consistency. It was really important.